confirm this proof and you'll get a million dollars. Prove it wrong and you'll also get a million dollars. Uh, no, that's not right. There is no one million dollars if you prove the ABC conjecture. There's only one million dollars if you find a flaw in Mochizuki's proof. The ABC conjecture looks super easy. Mm, no, the ABC conjecture does not look super easy. It's actually a very technical statement. This is a statement of the ABC conjecture, and as you can see, it's fairly technical. I have a video that explains that the idea behind this is not technical, but the statement itself fairly technical. Basically, the problem is there are exceptions to this that have to do with radicals. These things. No, I think here she's confusing radicals, like the radical of a number, which is the product of the primes dividing that number, with actual roots or square roots, third roots. It's nothing about a square root or third roots. It's about the radical of a number, which is an integer. Shinichi Mochizuki published a 500-page proof that is so difficult to read, it's almost offensive. <laughs> That's the thing. It is not a proof. Uh, there are so many details left out in these 500 pages that it does not constitute a proof because there is so much left for the reader to fill in that that is not how mathematics works. That you can't claim to have completed a proof when there are so many items left out. Mathematicians called number theorists who specialize in this sort of thing can't understand it either. Here she is right in that. It's not that we do not understand it, it's that there are just so many details left out that that's not up to us. That's not our job to complete all, the, all that proof. That's for the person proposing a proof. There was a conference he attended in 2015, but no one in the audience was willing to admit at which point in the paper they became confused. Actually, as I explained in one of my videos about the ABC conjecture, there are two people, Scholz and Stix, who have published a paper specifically with where there is a major problem in the proof that Mochizuki has not been able to address uh, to the satisfaction of those two people, one of which is a Fields medalist. Nobuo Kamakami is offering a million dollars to anyone who advances the proof or finds a flaw in it. Unfortunately, the people who are going to review that paper with uh, explaining a flaw are those people that already believe Mochizuki's proof is correct and who are unable to explain to the rest of the community why that proof is correct. So this whole million dollar thing, it's just a gimmick and I do not expect it to be ever awarded to anyone. So, what is the ABC conjecture anyway? It's a fairly recent conjecture. It was conjectured in 1985 by Masser and Osterle, um, but it has some very important consequences in number theory. So, it's one of the most important conjectures uh, that are open. The way we usually state the conjecture is a bit technical, but the idea behind the conjecture is actually fairly simple. It just says that when you add up two numbers that are relatively prime, and they have high powers in the factorization, the sum does not have high powers of primes in the factorization. So for example, 2 squared plus 3 squared, the sum of two powers, I get 13, a prime to the first power. 1 plus 9, that's 10, it's not prime, but it's just 2 times 5, 2 primes to their first power. 9 plus 25, that's 3 squared plus 5 squared, that's 2 times 17, 2 primes to the first power, and so on. That's usually what happens, but not always. For instance, here are some examples that are exceptions to that quote-unquote rule, where we have high powers that add up to being another high power. So the conjecture says that these are very rare. In fact, the majority of all numbers do not have this property.